Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you how to put together a really beautiful fancy fold card. And it's a very, very simple fancy fold technique. So to illustrate this, um, we're going to make this beautiful card which uses the um, Painted Petals, which is a, a new stamp set that came out from Stampin' Up! in their spring catalog. And so the Fancy Fold card is basically, it opens like this. So it's just a little, uh, what they call a Z-fold card. So let me show you how we are going to make this. You're going to start out with a piece of Blackberry Bliss. Now if you're going to do the exact same card that I'm doing. I'm just going to tell you what the supplies are that you'll need. So this is Blackberry Bliss. You'll start out with just a, a piece of cardstock. Um, now your cardstock, I've already got it cut and scored. So this is five and a half. This is four and a quarter. This is your regular um, card size. So what you're going to do is score it in the middle. So you'll take your cardstock and you'll put it on your scoring, either if you have a scoring board or you can do this right on your, um, your cutter. You're just going to score it right in the center, which the center, if you look here, is four and a quarter. This is four and a quarter. And then you're going to take one of the flaps. So one of, um, once you have your cardstock scored, you're just going to take one of the flaps, and I chose to use this side, it doesn't matter which side you use, and then you're going to score it in half again. So when you score the first piece, it's at four and a quarter. Now you score the second piece, and you're going to be scoring at two and an eighth. All right? So once you have everything scored, then fold your first, fold on your first score line, and you'll see that I have the second score line here. You're going to take that and you're going to fold it backwards, okay? So that's how you get your Z fold. And they call it a Z fold because it looks like the letter Z. If I put it in the right direction, it does. Anyway, okay, so now you have, now you have your fancy fold card. So to make the card that I put together, I simply just cut a piece of designer series paper. This is also um, from the Painted Petals collection, so I believe this is called Painted Blooms. And I just cut it at five and a quarter by four. So this is four, this is five and a quarter. And all I'm gonna do is just tape this right on the inside, just like so. And then, so now you can see how my card is coming together. So then I'm gonna take, um, some other pieces of paper, this, these are the pieces that I'll do my stamping on, the white one. And then I also have some glimmer paper. Now I cut my glimmer paper to um, three by four, and then I cut my white paper so that it's a quarter inch um, smaller. So if this is three by four, then we have two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So this is the one I'm going to do my stamping on. So. For this project, I used three different colors. I used Blackberry Bliss and Pear Pizzazz and Rich Razzleberry. So, the first thing I'm going to do is ink up um, the leaf images, one of the leaf images from the Painted Petals stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp it directly in the center of my white piece of paper. Then I'm going to take um, some of the blooms that are in the set. And for the blooms, I'm going to use the Rich Razzleberry because it is just a, I guess, a shade lighter than the Blackberry Bliss. So I'm going to stamp that on the top of my um, leaves. And then for the final piece, I'm just going to ink up my sentiment. And I'm gonna use Blackberry Bliss for this um, so that it stands out and it matches my cardstock. So I'm just gonna stamp that across the bottom. And that's all the stamping that we have to do. 
Now one of the things that I noticed with the Blackberry Bliss is it does take just a little bit of time for it to dry, um, probably because it's a darker color. So we'll just give that a second to dry. Um, actually, I'm just going to flip it over. In the meantime, while it's drying, I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of the piece of paper that I did my stamping on because I found that um, the dimensionals will stick better to uh, glimmer paper. Your regular snail adhesive um, doesn't stick very well, or I should say it doesn't stick very long. And sometimes um, using the dimensionals, they don't stick very long either, just because the glimmer paper has so much glitter on it. So I'm just gonna press this down upside down so I don't smudge anything. There. So now we have our um, little decorative piece, our little stamped piece that is gonna go right on the outside flap here of our card. So to do that, what I want to do is I wanna take some sticky strip, and this is double-sided tape, and I'm going to cut a few pieces of this and just put it on the side that I want to adhere to, um, to the flap of my card. So make sure you're putting the sticky strip on the correct side Otherwise, your image will be upside down. And I know I've done that several times, so just giving you a little tip there. So once you get your sticky strip on here, you can just peel off the backing. And then we will adhere it right to the card. And I use sticky strip because it's a stronger... Um, adhesive. So you can use your snail adhesive to stick it on, but since it's a fancy fold card and people like to play with fancy fold cards, you want a little stronger adhesive so that it stays um, attached to your card. So the last thing um, that I did is I cut another piece of paper to the exact same size as this paper, the original paper, so that's two and three quarter by three and three quarter, just so that um, I could put this on the inside of the card and I have a place to write um, to write a little greeting or whatever I want to put on the inside. So I'm just going to adhere that there. And it's just the right size so it fits right behind there so nobody will notice that, um, that piece when they pull out the card from the envelope. So there you have it. A beautiful and pretty simple, I think. Um, fancy fold card. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.